Hello, brother. Hello, sister. And welcome to Ogden Water, which is a fantastic area. Lovely area. We're going to have a look around it, guys. We're going to show you what Coddale Council look after. What is owned by Ogden Water and what actually happens at Ogden Water. And I'm actually in the woods at Ogden Water. It's a fantastic resort and it's a fantastic place to take your friends and family as well. We're all brothers and sisters and we all love each other and we need to give each other a big fantastic hug and a kiss and a cuddle and turn around and say, I love you. <laughs> it's a fantastic day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I've got some amazing content coming to the channel this week. So don't forget to keep subscribed, keep it locked for the best content on YouTube. True content and unedited content. And I know you're gonna love it! And hello guys, and welcome to Freedom Fighter. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And welcome to all new subscribers, and to my friends, and to my family, and to my brothers and sisters. Hello minions, hello demons, hello devils, and hello trolls. And this beautiful bridge here is Ogden Water. <laughs> and all this land here, you see, is owned by Yorkshire Water. But the upkeep is actually done by Calderdale Council. And don't forget, if we've got dog litter, chuck it in the bin. <laughs> Keep your dog on a lead. All this is the beautiful area which is Ogden Water. They use their old um, Christmas trees to actually clog up the ends uh, to stop actually people falling into the uh, water because it's not that far to actually, to be honest, to actually be able to fall in. So they use the old Christmas trees um, to actually clog up the ends of the um, bank. So we have to see they actually use the old Christmas trees to actually plug up um, the bank so you'd actually just fall in because it's not that far really for you actually in the water if you look um, to be totally honest with you uh, but this is a fantastic view of Ogden water fantastic in the summer and if you've got dogs um, and that type it's fantastic to actually walk around um, with them um, to be totally honest, it actually has been closed uh, recently due to the um, pandemic and uh, it's actually uh, the keepers and that type of thing that look after the area is actually called a little council uh, but the keepers and that actually uh, live locally so while it's been shut um, not many people have been able to come onto the site and support it because uh, Ogden Water have a support group um, of local people from the community. Um, majority are councillors, um, but they actually look after the whole uh, area um, and actually uh, support it. And uh, it's a beautiful area, believe it or not. Um, fantastic for uh, family outings and walks and um, that type of thing. Um, the only problem we actually have with it is we have a lot of um, dogs that actually uh, mucky the pathways and stuff like that. It's actually a nature resort as well, so people come with children. And if you don't notice, dog poo actually blinds uh, your eye, blinds people. 
so uh, that's one of the main problems we actually have up here. Um, we actually do have uh, kids um, coming into the woods, as you see uh, at the back of me. It's actually a big wooded area, and um, kids actually do come uh, and have one of the way to sex in this area as well. Uh, the police have uh, been called, and as you see, we have a beautiful uh, thing that actually pedals water from the hills into the, uh, the reservoir. Uh, if you follow that pathway there, it'll actually take you up to Ovindon Wind, Wind Farm, which I've done a video on, guys, so actually check that out as well, uh, because the council are actually trying to sell it off, believe it or not, and not many people actually realise uh, that they're doing that. I so actually made a video of all that for you guys as well. Because we like the truth being told on this channel. And we support everybody. We support our brothers, our sisters. And we support everybody that wants the truth being told, no matter who they are. If you want true content, this is the best channel to come for it. Because we really don't edit videos, we just put them on as we do them. So the mistakes and that, just as it be, to be totally honest with you guys. But you've got to sort of think about it as well, this is actually a lovely area. Imagine coming in the summer with your children, having a good old picnic. Yeah, fuck the takeaways and fuck them things. Come here picnic. Old and grown picnic. <laughs> old and grown picnic. <laughs> Golly girl, say old and grown sound there for you guys. Old and grown picnic. <laughs> you can't beat it. Great for you guys. Long run picnic, you can't beat it. You can't beat how they actually do uh, look after the area. And they do make the area quite pleasant, to be totally honest with you. Those Christmas trees they used to actually plob up the end, um, which actually yeah, helps the environment as well. Um, because uh, Christmas trees will rot, so it actually makes compost and uh, actually makes uh, it good for the environment, to be totally honest with you as well. Um, this is Fantastic views of Ogden Water. And as you see, it's actually used um, quite a bit for um, the community. And actually, like I said, they use Christmas trees to actually follow up the uh, ends. As well. Um, I'll leave links uh, to the area as well in the uh, description box. Um, schools and uh, scouts and that actually do um, stuff up here as well. Um, it's actually well used 
uh, by the community, I believe it or not. Um, they can't actually do sailing or anything on this uh, reservoir. Um, it's actually not allowed. What is this? Tape mint. Flowers. That only means one thing, don't it, guys? That someone's took the life here, which is rather sad, isn't it? Rest in peace to that poor person. And he hope he uh, has a better life up in heaven. Moving on. Like I said, I was on a lot of his uh, nature um, reserve. Um, a lot of nature actually does come up here, uh, and that's why uh, scouts and uh, schools come up um, to actually look at his uh, wildlife. So all these creatures here can be found in here. And as you can hear, kids are in the background playing. <laughs> Hopefully we can actually go back 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 out into the community. We can actually speak to people uh, when after this uh, pandemic lockdown uh, has ended. Hopefully we can actually come back out and we can actually speak to people and find out what they think about areas um, like Hugged and Water and what can be improved in that type of thing. Don't forget you can also comment on these videos, guys. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. And I'd like to hear what you think about the areas as well. And if you have an area like this, why don't you go out and actually take a camera with you and actually record it and put it up on YouTube? Or if you don't know how to use YouTube, if you send it to me, I'll do it for you. No problem. At all. That's why I'll leave all my uh, links to... Uh, ways you can contact me on my videos I've always done that guys, you know this the reason why I want that to do that is because I want to connect with you I want you to have some good content and I want you to actually help with that content as well I want us all to work together, I want to change things I want to make things for the better I want us all to be involved in that change because the only way you're going to get that change is all sticking together to make that change. And uh, like I said, Ogden Water, lovely area, has its ups and downfalls, I have to admit. But this area, to me, is home. These. These type of areas is what I actually like. I'd love to actually, uh, for everybody to actually come to this area with the children and have some fun. I really would. I'd love to have a barbecue and a nice picnic in these type of areas. But everybody seems to be at each other's throats and, and that type of thing. So it actually lets you down as well to be totally honest with you guys and to be totally and utterly honest with you I'd like it if we all actually got on and we all actually supported each other and we actually tried to change things for the better and if we did all that and we actually did support each other and actually make things better for our communities I'd uh, I think we'd all get along and I think we'd all be good and for people that uh, love ducks and things, here you go.
This is the picnic area I'm actually approaching now guys um, Which you can actually go and have a picnic um, With your children It does have public toilets in the area And um, It does have a shop as well um, well, that type of thing. There is a disabled toilet. Um, some of the paths aren't really wheelchair friendly, to be totally honest. Um, with you. Uh, but this is your picnic area, guys. Um, I said it's all. There you go guys. No side point. I thought she visit a shop, guys. Of course, you can pause it to uh, read it. Of course you've got your uh, public toilets, which are actually closed at the moment. And of course you've got the school um, type of area.
Da, da, da. I don't forget to look after her each other, guys. And uh, till next time, goodbye. Come on, do more.